Hi, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Tech Stuff. Today we have with us the new Sony Grip. This is a Bluetooth wireless grip from Sony that they just released in January. And we're going to take a look at some of its functionalities and how ergonomic it actually is. So the new Bluetooth grip that Sony has just released is a massive improvement over the past two shooting grips they had. The older shooting grips had to be connected to the camera with a cable and could only support smaller cameras like the RX100 and the RX0. This new grip is wireless, more comfortable to carry, holds up to 1.5 kilograms and has a rotatable head. So this grip is part of Sony's Vlog with Sony campaign alongside with new releases such as the new A6600 camera with its smaller form factor, longer battery life and a flip up screen. They've also come up with smaller mics that are wireless making it more convenient to use. Now my first impressions was that this grip was very comfortable to hold and very well built. It was minimalistic and not overly complicated to use, having all the basic functions that you need right at your fingertips. The tripod function is sturdy and easy to set up, and the rotation of the head is intuitive and convenient to adjust. Now there are 5 main controls on this grip. The photo shutter, which also has a half press for you to enable focusing before taking the photo. The zoom toggle, which some cameras can support. The movie record button a lock switch that prevents you from accidentally hitting any of the other buttons and a C1 shortcut button which you can program via your camera's menu. Now this grip comes with a quarter 20 inch thread mounting which makes it very convenient to attach it straight onto your camera. It is powered by a CR2032 battery but does not give you any indication when it's running low on power. Now the pairing of this grip to the camera is pretty simple. Under the network menu in Bluetooth settings, you can select the pairing mode, allowing you to pair it to the grip. On the grip, hold down the zoom T button as well as the photo button for at least 7 seconds. Once you see an indication on your camera that it has detected the grip, go ahead and press OK and this should complete the pairing process. Now like I said, this grip works wirelessly from the camera, which means you can also use it as a wireless trigger. And so that kind of made me ask the question of how far you can use this as a Bluetooth trigger. So we're at a car park right now, it's about 2.4 meters each car park lot. And we're going to use that as a gauge of how far we can use this. Alright. This is about 1 meter away. Alright, so I managed to get up to about 45 meters with this trigger, which actually opens up a lot more opportunities and you can use this for very interesting shots if you're doing like some wildlife photography and you want to hide your camera somewhere, this could be something very interesting for you. Now one of the key features of this grip is its ergonomic shape, making it very comfortable to hold. Its tiltable grip also makes it comfortable for the wrist, allowing you to adjust to a more comfortable angle. Now you also can get creative with the angles of this grip, like this underslung mode here, allowing me to get low to the ground shots in a very comfortable holding position. Alright, so with the Bluetooth grip, you're not actually getting more stabilization, you're actually getting a more comfortable grip. If you want something more stable, you might want to use a camera body with inbuilt stabilization or just use a wider lens. But this is a lot more comfortable to use, and with the flip out screen of the A6400, this is a very good vlogging setup. Alright, so just some final thoughts about this Bluetooth grip. When I first got it, I didn't think much about it, but after using it for a couple of days, I can see myself actually using this for holidays or for some short trips. It's really compact and it packs a lot of functionality into a small package. If you're looking something for stabilization, like I said, this isn't something to stabilize your shots, more of something that gives you a more comfortable grip and an easier way to vlog. So this grip comes in at about 165 Singapore dollars, which is a bit pricey, but what you're getting out of it is a lot more than just a simple grip or a simple tripod. You now have a wireless trigger and a very convenient way to start shooting from your camera. Alright guys, so that's all for me. I hope you guys have enjoyed this short review of the new Sony Bluetooth wireless grip. Uh, you can pick this up at any Sony stores or on their online shops as well. Uh, I myself, I'm gonna Really look forward to using this more often. Alright, like this video if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you guys in the next one.